Hello YouTube and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you my awesome new acoustic levitation device that you can see here. Okay, so before we start, I just want to mention that without the excellent work of Mr. Marzo, Mr. Barnes and Mr. Drinkwater, I would have not been able to complete this project. Thank you so much for providing all the detailed information. Let's start this video. The machine I built here is an acoustic levitator that uses ultrasonic transducers to make small styrofoam balls float in midair. Like you, you can as well like just levitate water droplets or something like that but I will never do that because of the electronics. And as you can see here, it's also quite simple to position the balls in the space between the speakers. Like this works very well. All in all, the device uses 72 40 kilohertz speakers. Those speakers are positioned in a parabolic shape on the top and on the bottom of the device. Because of this parabolic shape, the sound is perfectly focused. Thankfully, humans aren't able to hear ultrasound um, because every of those little speakers is louder than a megaphone directly pointed onto your ear. Because of that, the machine also uses quite some power and I needed to add a fan and ventilation holes and all the stuff into the enclosure. To move the particles in midair, I also got a small control that you can move them up and down with it. And yeah, like the whole machine absolutely relies on precision and quality and this is why I printed every part on this on my Cetus 3D printer. And before printing, I also um, designed every piece in CAD to get an idea of the final product. To use the device, a 12 volt power rig is needed and also some styrofoam balls and also a small pair of tweezers. But now let's go for the interesting part. The electronics like for me those are the most interesting like any time but okay the machine works as follows a small microcontroller which is in fact an Arduino Nano controls the L298N H bridge just a normal H bridge array which then controls the transducer arrays the rest of the wiring here belongs just to protection circuits and LED lighting and control and yeah everything like that the top of the device is openable and reveals a closer look on the ultrasonic transducer arrays. It also reveals a closer look on the LED in the middle, which is in fact a black light LED. Let's connect an oscilloscope to the speaker output and see what happens. On the screen here, you can clearly see the 40 kHz square wave that the microcontroller generates. But before we continue, let me explain the physics behind why this device actually works. So let us start with two ultrasonic transducers facing each other. When turned on, they output a longitudinal wave. What you see here in fact is a transverse wave because it simplifies the explanation process a lot, but well, this doesn't matter. You may know from physics class that whenever two waves meet each other, they interfere in like strange ways. What we need here in order for the machine to work is a special type of interference pattern called a standing wave. This is basically a waveform that looks like it does not move, therefore the name. This wave also holds the complete amount of energy of the two individual waves, so it is much more powerful. To achieve such a standing wave, we have to position the two transducers in such a way that their distance is exactly n times the wavelength divided by 2. Because our wave is so powerful, it creates areas of low and areas of high pressure in the air between our two speakers. If we now drop a styrofoam ball on one of the high pressure levels, it won't fall down. The cool thing is that it's possible to levitate multiple objects at once, one on each high pressure level. The reason why the balls won't fall down is a physical phenomenon called buoyancy. Imagine dropping a styrofoam ball into water, everybody knows that it will like just float. This works because the water surrounding the ball is more dense than the ball itself. If the upward force created by the difference of the densities is equal to the value of the gravitational force, the ball will float. And that is just the same as in the acoustic levitator. 
where the air in the high pressure levels is denser than the styrofoam and therefore will create an upward force that is strong enough to withstand gravity. Pretty simple, right? Those areas of high and low pressure can also be made visible using a normal water steam generator. Here in this picture it is clearly visible that uh, areas with high pressure are those where the water droplets collect. And the areas with low pressure is where you can just see through. It's as simple as that and it's also very cool. And as you might have noticed already, the machine looks absolutely gorgeous in the dark. Because of the black light LED, if you paint some of those styrofoam particles with text marker or something similar, they light up in the dark like very bright. And this is so cool. I absolutely like the gorgeous view of this machine. Yes, but glowing in the dark is not the only cool part about this. I also built a smaller version of the big acoustic levitator. In fact, it is like 36 times smaller and it only uses two ultrasonic transducers to levitate small styrofoam droplets. And yeah, like it is not that stable as the big one and it requires like styrofoam with a special form, it has to be like really flat. All, it, all in all, it works like as good as the big one. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and if you did like the video as much as I did, then please consider subscribing and share the video if you like it. And if you have any questions, then please consider writing in the comments. Yeah, have a nice day.